Hey guys, it's Dave here from Creative Path Films and in today's video, we're talking about butterfly lighting. Butterfly lighting, which is also known as paramount lighting or glamour lighting, gets its name from the small butterfly-shaped shadow that is created under your subject's nose. It got its alternate name, paramount lighting, because it was the go-to lighting technique for lighting Hollywood superstars, the likes of Audrey Hepburn. It continues to be a popular technique to this very day and is often used for portrait photography and glamour lighting. This is because it suits a wide variety of faces, and it makes the face appear slimmer and longer, highlighting the cheekbones in a very appealing way. But this technique is not just reserved for photography. It works wonderfully in film and video as well. Now, before we get into the setup, I've also created a downloadable breakdown of this lighting technique to go alongside this video. So if you'd like to grab a copy of that, links down in the description. All right, let's get into the setup. First, position your subject within your scene facing the direction that you want. One of the more common positions for butterfly lighting is looking directly down the barrel of the camera. But this also works wonderfully with your subject looking off camera as well. Next, grab your key light and position it directly in front of your subject so that their nose is pointed directly at the light. Next, you're going to raise it up above head height so it's angling down at approximately 30 degrees. You want to move your light up and down until you see a nice little butterfly shadow appear just underneath the nose. If you position the light too high, then the resulting shadow will be too long. And if you position it too low, then there won't be any shadow at all, and you'll completely flatten out the face. When positioned correctly, you'll also observe some lovely shadowing and shaping under the cheekbones as well as under the chin. If you'd like a less contrasty look, then you can position a bounce board just underneath your shot to bounce some of that key light back into the face and fill in those shadows a little bit. Now let's have a look at the same setup, but this time our subject is looking off camera instead. And now we're gonna add in our bounce board to fill in those shadows. This is the end result. Butterfly lighting is one of those techniques that looks fantastic with either a hard or a soft light source. So far, we've been showing you just the hard light version. Now let's have a look at a couple of ways that we can apply soft lighting techniques to this look. The first way is to add a layer of diffusion between your light and your subject. You can do this using a silk net, a piece of diffusion paper, or a softbox. I prefer to use a softbox with a grid attachment because that helps control the light spill. The second way is to bounce your light off a bounce board. Today, we're using an inexpensive piece of white core flute, which we've mounted onto a light stand. Simply position your bounce board in the same position as your light. Then, bounce your light up into the board so it's reflected onto your subject's face. Just remember, when positioning your light and your board, that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. Now let's have a look at the version with our subject looking off camera, but with a soft light source. As you can see with the softer version, we're still getting that lovely definition under the cheekbones and under the chin, but the shadows are a lot softer this time. Using the soft version of this technique can sometimes be more flattering on certain faces, and it also has the added benefit of hiding blemishes that you might see on the skin. We've used this technique not just for stationary shots, but it also works wonders in moving shots as well. In this shot, you can see our actress was walking down a long hallway. So we used a china ball, which was boomed over the top of our camera by our gaffer, who was walking back in tandem with our camera operator. This allowed us to keep the lighting consistent on our actress Amy throughout the shot. Well, there you have it guys. That is how you create a butterfly lighting setup. If you have any questions or requests for a particular lighting technique, let me know down in the comments below. And if you'd like to, don't forget to grab that breakdown down in the description. Well, I hope you learned something today, and if you did, make sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.